I went to Elizabeth High School, which is a public school in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Huge school. My graduation class was over 800 kids. And I was told that at least 75% of, of those individuals actually went to higher education, which is actually remarkable for a class so big. I then went on to Rutgers University, and I ended up going to the uh, Newark College of Arts and Sciences campus. I actually didn't live on campus. I stayed at home. My parents were uh, very concerned about me going away to school. So I, I stayed at home, and I commuted, and I also worked. Um, and I also played a little bit of tennis. Um, so I got involved in a little tennis, but because I was working and going to school, I, I couldn't um, maintain the tennis uh, and the traveling. So I, I went to school and I focused, and uh, I initially started in one major, but I actually focused in and majored in chemistry uh, and proceeded to take all the courses, uh, and I graduated. Uh, after graduation, or right before graduation, actually, I actually got uh, interviewed and in, in, uh, in, in, was offered a job at a company called Erst, uh, which became Wyeth, which then became Pfizer in Princeton, New Jersey. Uh, and, and there is where I actually met Stephen Pasekis, who's one of the key sort of... Uh, I guess mentors within my education, and he said that I should really, I was really good, and I should really go and get my PhD, uh, my doctorate uh, in organic chemistry, so I could do the drug discovery and development. Uh, so then I proceeded to apply to graduate schools. I wanted to go, particularly to one graduate school, Brown University, and the reason for that was that back then and even today, uh, there were only two women known. In, the, in academia, uh, in synthetic organic chemistry, and that was uh, Madame Juliet at the University of Pennsylvania and Kathleen Parker at Brown University. Uh, so I wanted to work for a woman uh, in synthetic organic chemistry. Uh, so things happened, and I ended up going um, to Brown University, uh, and then I graduated with my PhD, 